Catholic exorcist and author of Diary of an American Exorcist, Father Stephen Rossetti warns the Catholic faithful about increasing evidence of demonic invasions around the globe and especially into our homes. The exorcist writes, I was walking down the hallway of a deeply infested building with one of our most gifted spiritual sensitives. We were planning on exorcising the building soon thereafter. She said to me, I can hear them. They are crying out in fear. I asked, why is that? She answered, they know what you do. Beneath all the bravado and arrogance of Satan and his minions is an underlying terror of Christ and all that is holy. It causes them incalculable pain. And they know that their time is short book of Revelations chapter 12 verse 12. They are rightly terrified of the second coming of Christ. As the demon named Legion said to Jesus, have you come to torment us before the appointed time? The Queen of Peace at Medjugorje has also spoken of the activities of the demonic world and she has offered specific ways to protect ourselves, our loved ones, and our homes from his infernal influence. From the beginning of the apparitions, Our Lady recommended that we carry on ourselves, and place in our homes objects blessed by a priest. She asked that we renew the use of holy and exorcised water. To protect ourselves from evil in its various forms, the Church has given us sacramentals, and exorcist, Father Rossetti, says there are clear signs how they can help us and he encourages the faithful to not ignore them. Father Rossetti tells the chilling story of a possessed woman, who was impacted greatly by holy objects placed secretly inside her home. Father Rossetti said, a woman under demonic influences, was away from her room on an errand. Not known to her, I blessed and exorcised it using holy water. I also sprinkled exorcised salt in the corners on the floor. Then I took exorcised oil and made a sign of the cross on the door, windows, and lintels. But when I left, nothing different could be seen by the human eye. The next day, she texted me. Possessed woman, did you do something to my room? I said, no, why do you ask? Possessed woman, you blessed my room. Then I asked her, how could you tell? Possessed woman, something changed and the demons hated it. They still do. This brief exchange was illuminative. First, it helped confirm the woman was possessed. She had occult knowledge. There is no way she could have known I blessed and exorcised her room. She received this knowledge through the demons. Having occult knowledge is a strong sign of true possession. Second, it confirms the power and importance of having a blessing of our homes. A blessed home is a holy place and the demons in the possessed are repulsed by anything holy. All should have their homes blessed, by a priest who should gladly cooperate. Our Lady is calling. God bless and thank you for watching Mystic Post TV.